Hey everyone, so let's start off this video with a very simple program. I'll make a register A and within my initial block, I'll first assign some initial value to A and then I'll just display my variable. I just do a display A and a finish right here. That's it. That's all I want to do in my program. And let's try running this out. And this does give me one as expected. That's my expected output. But let's try making this a five instead. And let's try running it now. As you can see, it still gives me a one right here. And the reason that happens is because when I say register A, it actually gives me a one bit register. It has just one bit, which can be zero or one. That's it. So when I try to assign the value five to A, it just takes the rightmost bit of my five. So if I make this a four instead, it's going to give me a zero. So we need some way to uh, let Verilog know that this uh, actually is a three bit register. And uh, the way to do that is to just have a square bracket here. And then uh, I do a two colon zero, which means that my register needs to have three bits, the zero bit, the one bit and the two bit. Remember, this needs to be n minus one. So when I do that and now I assign four to it and let's try this out. And as you can see, it does give me four correctly. So uh, the way to actually make a, re uh, a register of uh, a bigger width than a one bit is to use this square bracket right here. Also, another thing that I want to point out is uh, we've written a equals four, but a better way to actually write this would be uh, to say the number of bits, which is three, then a single inverted comma or an apostrophe, then a D for decimal and then the actual value, which is four. So this is how we should we usually write it in Verilog and this, as you can see, runs fine. And uh, similarly, what I can do is instead of this, I can do uh, a of zero equals, um, let's say one and a of one equals zero and a of two equals one. So I can do that. But again, a better way to write this one would be to say one bit binary and one. And then here I'm writing one bit binary zero and then one bit binary and one again and let's try this out as you can see this gives me five correctly uh, which is one which is the decimal equivalent of one zero one so that's one thing another thing that I want to point out here is let's say I make this a three uh, so a is actually four bits wide and I haven't assigned the fourth bit right here I haven't given any value to a of three and uh, if you remember we were getting some uh, crosses in one of our earlier videos and that's exactly what's going to happen here when I try to display a even if one bit is left unassigned then I'm going to get that cross right here so as you can see I've got a cross right here so uh, to actually get a value I'll have to assign all of the bits or I'll have to use something like this so uh, and of course here it'll have to be four. So that's about having variables of uh, a, high, a bigger width than a single bit. And another thing I want to mention here is let's say I have a variable, a register A and I have a register B, which is a single bit. Now what I can do is let's say I want to store the value 10. So remember the binary equivalent of 10 is 1010. That's 10 right there. And uh, this A of course cannot hold all four bits. So what I can do is I can put this within uh, these braces and then I can say B comma A. And uh, of course this will have to be a four because this is four bits right here. So what's going to happen after this is B is going to contain all the left bits of it uh, as many as it can hold so that's uh, just the one and A is going to hold the rest of them on the right so that's going to be uh, 0 1 0 so let's actually display both B and A now 
so I display uh, B as well here and let's try this so my expected output is uh, B should be 1 and A should be 2 because that's the decimal equivalent of 0 1 0 so let's try this and as you can see that's the output that I get right here and uh, of course if I have something like 8 bits right here and I put uh, 1111 let's say right here so this time what's going to happen is because this is just 4 bits it's going to take them from the right so it takes 4 bits from the right and it just uses the 1010 uh, just like what was happening when we were trying to assign uh, 5 to a single bit register so my expected output is still the same and as you can see that's what I get right here so uh, that's what I wanted to talk about uh, about the variable width registers not exactly variable width but uh, bigger registers than a single bit and the use of these braces to actually assign to multiple registers at once which is actually pretty useful when we uh, do things like write a full adder and all where we have a carry and a sum that we need to calculate as the output so we'll be using uh, this as well and uh, as far as Verilog is concerned we'll try to uh, stick to this notation where we are mentioning the number of bits then uh, the number system decimal or binary that's the most common that we'll be using and then the actual value so uh, hope you understood all of this and I'll see you in the next video